Moving on, despite having natural resources, Congo suffers from abject poverty and hunger. Political instability has taken a toll on its future generation. Indian peacekeeping forces in Congo are trying to bring a ray of hope to orphanages in the country. Beyond's political editor, Kartike Sharma, has got us this report. <laughs> These children eagerly await goodies brought by the Indian Army. They look happy, but their smiles and songs cannot hide the grim reality. They are left in this orphanage, which provides them with basic care. So now the Indian peacekeeping forces chip in to give a helping hand. For example, footballs, for example, stationery, for their overall development. Because if we make a promise, then we have to uh, complete it. And the turnover of the units is in six months, in a year, and a new unit comes in. But the expectations stay. So that is why uh, we don't do any promises. And whatever we say, we try to complete them. The orphanage is built on a lava pit. A decade ago. The town was all but obliterated by a volcanic eruption. So what looks like a badly maintained road is actually solidified lava. One has no choice but to drive over it in order to meet the children. Despite having plenty of natural resources, the situation in Congo is pretty grim. About 10% of the population suffers from extreme malnutrition. Political violence has displaced thousands within and outside of Congo. Delayed elections have further fueled unrest in the country. While patrolling, we can meet kids who are, who are, who are roaming around. Now, when we see those sorrows, on, when we get sorrows of, of, of those kids, we say we don't tell something about what we can do for you, but one thing that we can do it is just to report these sorrows to somebody who can be able to assist you. That's why if somebody will see these, these photographs, we are coming to him. As Indian contingents, please get sort of these kids. Help them. They don't have any place to sit to deal. They don't have any, any food to eat. This area is very, very, very small. We can't, the space is very small so that uh, we like to raise up in a good uh, mm -hmm. land and a good uh, area on which we can get uh, uh, a largest place just for the game of the children. And uh, we require a sponsor, for instance, India government should maybe help if they are able, or other countries. Congo is also battling the issue of child soldiers, but many children whose parents become casualties of ethnic and political violence are unable to get the attention and care that they deserve. The Indian Army is doing its bit, but the world needs to do more. Children are the worst casualty whenever it comes to violence, collapse of the state or political instability. Uh, this is one of such orphanages in Congo where the steps taken by the government are inadequate. Uh, what UN can do is limited. But what is required is a civil infrastructure where kids are not given doles but shown a future where they can rebuild their lives again. With camera person Manish Srivastav, Kartike Sharma, from Goma for Vion.